Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Madeline and I'm so happy that you were here today. Thank you for clicking on my video, I hope you enjoy. I just got out of the clinic. It is 11.55. I am at a PT clinic five days a week for one of my classes. One of my last classes before I graduate, it's my last exercise science class ever. I'm here five days a week from seven to 11.30 noonish, just kind of depending on when the patients are done. Yeah, that's a little life update. I don't think I've talked about that yet in a video because I haven't really I've been slacking on my YouTube game this year, but I'm trying to get back into it. We're going to be doing a couple days in my life. I'm in my last semester at IUPUI, if you didn't already know that. I graduate in May. I'm very excited about that. I just mobile ordered some Chipotle that Ian is going to go pick up, and I am going to go run and tan real quick. And then I'm going over to Ian's house. We're going to shove some lunch down our throats, and then we are going to go play pickleball this afternoon, which will be a lot of fun. We haven't played pickleball since the summer, so it's been a long time. It's been a hot minute since I played pickleball, so it might be a little interesting to watch. We're going to drive on over. I will talk to you guys when I get over there. Okay, this lighting is kind of dark, so like I look really dramatic right now, but I just got out of the tanning bed, and I am going to go ahead and head on over to Ian's. He went and picked up our Chipotle, so we're going to go eat some burrito bowls real quick, and then we're going to go play pickleball. Hey, sisters. We're about to go play some pickleball. I'm about to win. Why does it look like... Oh, I guess I need to look at the camera. Put it out a little bit further and it won't look as awkward. No. I like it right here. I don't really know what to say. It's a beautiful day for pickleballing. It is currently 43 degrees out. Which sounds it's cold. Prime weather time. It's really nice. Yeah, because the sun's out. Sun's out, pickleball paddles out. And guns out. Currently at a red light. The one just passed us in a red car. The license plate number is. <laughs> you guys want to know my social security number? <laughs> Peace out, homies. <laughs> Sorry. We're here at the park. There's a little some courts down there. Here, here's the courts. We've got four pickleball and a tennis court. Got the watch going. It's, it's a little chilly, but I think once we get moving, we'll warm up a little bit. The watch has to say 45 minutes 314 calories good little little quick cardio actually 45 minutes really isn't quick um, and we're gonna go back to ian's house ian's probably gonna work on homework i'm probably gonna take a nap honestly and actually i need a nap I'm and we're probably hard. gonna take a nap he has class at 4 30 so i'll probably head home here soon but <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed our little pickleball sporting segment bye girls all right you guys i just made it home from ian's and i made myself a little coffee my cute little chamberlain coffee glass i did a collab with them on tiktok and instagram so if you haven't seen that go check it out because i'm actually pretty proud of my little video i made i think it's pretty cute and when you girls here hello ignore how i didn't make my bed this morning He's a sweet girl. Winnie is due for more puppies again. April 3rd, I also ordered a sweatshirt in the mail from Etsy. I will link this down below because it's really cute. I have another t-shirt on the way too, but it is this really cute Cincinnati football sweatshirt. So cute. I like this color. This is like the sandstone color, I think. I got this in a large, so it would be like super oversized and I can wear it with like yoga pants and leggings and it'll be really cute. I'll link my other t-shirt down below too and show you guys what I got. It might come in 
during this vlog because I'm vlogging tomorrow and Wednesday. So no one is here right now. So I am going to have like a nice self-care shower. I'm going to purple shampoo my hair. We're going to exfoliate, shave my legs, everything. We're going to go have a nice little self-care shower. And I'm going to do my skincare routine. I'm going to make some dinner and chill. I'll probably work on some homework, which isn't very self-care of me. But we'll watch Dance Moms while I work on homework. So that makes it self-care. Let's go take a shower. I'm looking a little rough. I just got out of the shower and I'm wearing my new sweatshirt. And I'm making some dinner. I'm just making this gluten-free mac and cheese. Not the healthiest, but I'm gonna add some hickory smoked tuna into it to add some protein. And we are just gonna do homework and watch Dance Moms. So for now, I'm just gonna make my dinner. I will show you guys that when it's done. It won't look super appetizing but i'll just show you guys what it looks like and then we're gonna do homework and i will talk to you guys um when it is time to do my skincare routine this looks kind of nasty but i added some extra cheese and tuna and i'm gonna eat that and work on school and i will see you guys when it is time for bed all right so it is now 8 30 and i'm about to go lay down because i get up at 5 30 and i wanted to show you guys my nighttime skincare first of all this headband freaking cutest thing ever i got it on amazon so first i go in with this bubble break even balancing toner i got this from walmart and i literally picked it out because it has one of these lids <laughs> and he's giving it the sniff test i actually really like it i feel like it's worked really well for me my favorite moisturizer is this drunk elephant the like whipped cream moisturizer and it's super fun because it has the little I mix the Drunk Elephant Hydration Serum. When he is wanting to sniff everything, look at her nose. There you go. I use two drops of the Drunk Elephant Luxury Face Oil. I also really like this stuff. And I just mix it together on this little thing. It has the tanning drops on it from this morning. But I super love this moisturizer a lot i always say i don't know a whole lot about skincare and i kind of just experiment experiment around with different stuff but i was talking to vanessa and i was really slacking on my skincare routine for like a week and my skin broke out so bad i feel like i kind of found good products that work for me so i think i'm gonna stick to this for a while i'm gonna use the drunk elephant eye balm i do about half pump of this a lot of product comes out i just rub that under my eyes this is one of my favorites. This is the Laneige um, Water Sleeping Mask. This is in lavender. I bought a little trio pack of these and I really love these sleep masks. I feel like they're super moisturizing and I just feel like a glazed donut after using these. They're so moisturizing. And then I know everyone like talks smack about this, but I use the Mario Badescu spray. I know it doesn't really do anything, but I just think it feels nice. If you guys have a good like facial spray, I would love a recommendation. Then we're gonna use the Laneige lip mask. Top favorite beauty purchase ever. I love this thing. And then the last thing is this Bay Blush Serum. This is the old packaging. This stuff just lasts me forever. They've rebranded and they're actually not Bay Blush anymore. They're Babe Original. It's the same stuff. I'm not really sure why they changed names. When you just made a funny noise, I thought she was barfing on my floor. Well, I do have an affiliate link with them. I'm not sure if it's down in the description, but if it is not, I will start adding it because they have tons of good stuff. That's my little updated nighttime skincare routine. I don't think I have like really talked about that lately and I've added some new products in that I got for Christmas and just been really loving this routine lately. I go ahead and start winding down for bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Hi, pumpkin. I missed you so much today. I missed you so much. Do you see the camera? You look so pretty in your bandana, sissy. I just got home from the clinic and I did my first, like, no foundation makeup. Went a little overboard on the blush, I think. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I kind of liked it. I might do a little less blush tomorrow, but. Overall, I like it. I'm gonna make some lunch. I think I'm gonna make some bird's eye veggie pasta. 
if you guys know me you know i live for that stuff i think i'm also gonna cook a chicken sausage to put in there just to add some protein this is what it looks like this is the rotini alfredo my favorite is the rotini marinara but I also really love the Alfredo as well. You just microwave it for four and a half minutes. Literally so easy. I eat the whole bag because it's really, it's not a lot. I'll show you guys once it's done microwaving, but it's 26 grams of protein. I really like making this stuff. So we're gonna microwave that. Super easy, quick lunch. And then it is nap time. So this is what it looks like. It The noodles are green, so they look a little a little gross but i added the chicken sausage in there and then we're gonna add some of this finely shredded parmesan cheese and we are gonna dig in all right you guys i just finished my lunch and i am gonna lay down for a little bit maybe like 30 ish minutes and then we will get up and be productive all right y'all it's a little bit after 1 30. i look really red right now I don't know why. My other shirt I ordered came in. I will also link this t-shirt down below. Tiger on the front and Cincy, 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 Cincy. I can wear it with like cute biker shorts. Can wear it with like jean shorts and tuck it in because me and Macy are planning on going to some games together next year. So that's exciting. And um, they play the Colts. The Bengals play the Colts at home this year. And so we're trying, we're gonna try to get some of our indie friends from college to come down. But I'm back in my sweatshirt that I got yesterday. And I have my Lulu dance studio joggers on. These are my favorite joggers from there. I'm gonna add like a vest or something and me and Winnie are gonna go on a little outside voyage. I'll probably take her about two and a half miles. And then we're gonna go to the gym and hit some legs. I'm gonna do something kind of different for my leg day because my knees have really been giving me troubles. So, you know, when you do dance and cheer for 18 years, that that happens, your joints are just poo after. I'm gonna do a couple weighted exercises, heavy like I normally do. I'm probably not gonna squat today just because my knees do hurt. And then I'm going to superset all of them with some sort of body weight exercise. I'm going to try to film in there. This time of day is very hit or miss for how busy it is in there. So I really don't know if I'll be able to film. But I'm going to go get my vest on and grab my AirPods. Let's get ready to go. Come on, Winnie. All right, y'all, so we got back and I'm getting ready for the gym. I made my pre-workout. This is the One Up Nutrition Raspberry Lemonade flavor. I really like the One Up pre-workout on my leg days because I just feel like it gives me way more energy than my other pre-workout. I also made my protein shake. This is the PE Science Cake Pop. And then I put a scoop of my vanilla collagen in here as well just to get that in. Fit is this tea I actually bought at Goodwill and cropped it for my Halloween costume. And then these are Lululemon 6 inch aligned shorts. And I need to put my sweatpants on because I gotta run to the bank and the post office. I need to deposit cash from work and then I am shipping my friend Alex's birthday present because I still haven't done that because I suck. Alex, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Let's fill up my water and we will head on into town. The amount of faith I have in my hand it's hold everything, astronomical. All right, so I got to the gym and I'm almost done with my pre-workout. I was going to show you guys my workout plan because there's kind of a lot of cars here. So I don't think I'm going to be able to film, but this is what I have. I have three supersets and then like uh, more of a burnout. So I'm going to do heavy RDLs, supersetted with jump squats, step ups, supersetted with high knees, walking lunges down and back, supersetted, supersetted, superset. I don't know the word, superset with jumping lunges. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then the last thing is cable kickbacks. So we're going to go ahead and finish this. I have this last little chunk left. Let's head in and get this lift. All right, you guys, so I'm back in the car. The gym was busy as crap, so I did not get a single recording. Didn't even do half the workout I planned. I just kind of had to make it up as I went because it was so darn busy in there. I only lifted 
for like 35, 40 minutes and then foam rolled. And I feel really good. Freaking kicked my butt. I think in like my 30 minute workout, I burned almost like 250 calories, which for me is a lot. It was a good workout. I need to go put gas in my car because I'm not letting myself get to E like I normally do. I'm one notch off of E actually. I did let myself get to E. I need to chug some water. Great workout. Let's go home. Everyone, it is now Wednesday. I don't think I've vlogged since I was leaving the gym yesterday. Um, but basically all I did was mom wanted to go on a walk when she got off work. So I went on a walk with her. And then when we got back, we ate dinner and then I took a bath and literally went to bed because I was so exhausted. But I forgot my camera this morning before I went into the clinic. But afterwards I went to Walmart and I got stuff to make Ian a little valentine's day gift so i'm gonna show you guys what i got we don't really go all out and do a lot for valentine's day um but i still wanted to like make him a little basket he literally told me not to get him anything and i just physically cannot do that so i got him some stuff anyways i got like red tissue paper and these little like heart confettis to put in the basket got him some craft mac and cheese he is obsessed with this stuff these Sour Patch Kids hearts, this dark chocolate raspberry like bark, the trolley um, gummy worm heart things, these little Propel um, drink mixes, got him a cute little card, and some teriyaki beef jerky, two core power shakes. This is the chocolate, and I also got him vanilla, a case of Red Bulls because he is obsessed with Red Bull. And then I got him some Quest uh, S'mores protein bars. So I'm going to put this together and I'm making a little TikTok of it. But I will show you guys the end result. I also forgot to include that I'm making him like homemade sugar cookies. And I bought little um, like a heart cookie cutter to make them into little hearts. So I'm going to be doing that as well. Not in today's video. I'll probably do that this weekend so that they're still kind of fresh for actual Valentine's Day. But now we're going to go ahead and put all this together. Um, so I did accidentally forget to show you guys <laughs> how it turned out before I put all the paper and the little hearts over it, but it is on my TikTok. So if you do want to see how the basket turned out, go ahead and watch it on there. Honestly, I think I'm going to have a super chill rest of the day. I really don't feel very well today. I was going to go to the gym and stuff, but honestly, I'm really sore from yesterday's workout and my stomach just kind of hurts today. I don't feel very well. So I think we're going to have a chill day with Winnie. And maybe watch some dance moms, work on some homework. I do have musical choreography I need to start on. And I'm also going to get this video edited. So I think I'm just going to end this video right here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye,